does say, Lord God, if the wicked man turns away from all the sins he committed, if he keeps all my statutes and does what is right and just, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the crimes he committed shall be remembered against him. He shall live because of the virtue he has practiced. Do I in me derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked? Says the Lord God, do I not rather rejoice when he turns from his evil way that he may live? And if the virtuous man turns from the path of virtue to do evil in the same kind of abominable things that the wicked man does, can he do this and still it? None of the virtuous deeds shall be remembered because he has broken faith and committed sin. Because of this, he shall die. You say the Lord's way is not fit. Hear now, have some victory. Is it my way that I or rather not your way someday? When someone virtuous turns away from the virtue to commit iniquity and die, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if the wicked turning from the wickedness he has committed does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life since he has turned away from it.